So in addition to expanding our capabilities for RF measurements and protocols, we continue to expand our complete range of modular instrumentation. Today, especially on the PXI platform, we've seen significant gains in our approach for automated tests. Today, we offer nearly 300 PXI devices with over 1,500 available from all vendors. To talk about our latest PXI instruments that help take the platform into the new applications and semiconductor tests, please welcome from R&D, Ryan Mosley and Jeremy Meyer. Morning, guys. Morning. Now I see you've got a number of chip eval boards here. Explain what's going on. That's right, John. As a hardware developer, I typically have to evaluate dozens of components when picking the next parts for my next design. And I usually start the process by looking over data sheets. For example, on the screen we have data sheets for the four evaluation modules we have on stage. A MEMS microphone, a digital analog converter, an RFIC, and a power management IC. Now these are all common components you'd find from instrumentation to cell phones. So, you know, I end up might spend up, you know, days looking through stacks of these data sheets, only to find out that nobody's really testing these parts in a way that's consistent with my application. So I was thinking to myself, Self, you work for one of the most diverse instrumentation companies in the world. Why not steal some of this great hardware and bring these data sheets to life using LabVIEW? Nice. All right. <laughs> So if I understand it right, you've created a LabVIEW program with the user interface that looks like your traditional or you know, typical technical <laughs> data sheet, but this lets you look more closely at the specifications that you're most interested in. Exactly, John. I'm able to test all these devices in parallel and get the parametric data that I'm interested in. For example, I'm looking at the IV curves of the power management IC, the spectra of the DAC and the RFIC, and a suite of audio measurements on the MEMS uh, microphone. Now, the modularity of the PXI platform means I can choose and synchronize all the instrumentation necessary to test all these devices in parallel. And since it's PXI, it'll fit on my desktop. And since I'm using LabVIEW to build all these data sheets, I can quickly change the parameters on the fly to make these tests more consistent with my application so I can look at data I care about. Now, it looks like you're making some pretty sophisticated measurements. What PXI modules are you using? Well, for these measurements, we had to add some new capabilities to PXI. Today, we're proud to announce three new products. Two PXI Express high-speed digital instruments and a precision source measure unit for PXI. The digital instruments extend our fastest single-ended clock rate to 200 megahertz and feature an onboard precision clock with subhertz resolution. The SMU extends voltage output capability to 100 volts and improves current sensitivity by two orders of magnitude down to 10 picoamps. And that's not odd, John. We've had customers request the ability to ease the flow from simulation through verification and production of their semiconductor devices. So we've been working with TSSI, a leader in EDA vector conversion, and a National Instruments Alliance partner to work on an application software that will directly import wiggle and style vector formats directly into PXI. When you combine these new modules with the rest of the instruments on PXI, we can test all kinds of chips. And with LabVIEW, it's easy to create custom measurements, just like these live data sheets.